Hey boys, you want to spend some quality time with Dad out in the shop? Nah. You want to make a mess with sawdust and play with power tools? Yeah! Let's go. Let's do this. And our starting lineup for tools today, I've got a stop lock set up at the uh, miter saw. So when I cut the piece of wood, it's uh, a perfect square or near perfect square. Next up is the drill press. This is what I'm going to use to cut the holes out with. I've got a oscillating spindle sander set up with an appropriately sized spindle. And to finish the project off and smooth over the edges, I've got a small uh, belt sander. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to get started, but first, it's really important that we're all wearing our hearing protection and our eye protection. Anytime you're working around tools. Thumbs up, guys. Right. Chop saw is a little loud and a little dangerous, so I'm going to do that part myself. Now, here at the drill press, I'm holding the piece in place and I'm letting my son control uh, the plunge. So, you're going to have to use your own judgment with your kids as far as um, how involved you want them to do the power tool. And just also keep in mind that um, they're going to follow your lead and they're going to copy things that you do. So, you'll see here that I, I'm knocking the sawdust off. Immediately, my son does the exact same thing with the piece. So they will uh, look at you for examples on how to do things. And here the uh, the chuck was loose and uh, was letting the uh, bit spin freely. So that's a pretty quick fix. Always wait till it comes to a, an end. There you go. Yeah, I was going to say okay. complete stop, and for some reason I stopped myself and tripped over my words. Thanks for the branding placement, camera guy. The little arbor nut was loose. There we go. Hmm, maybe I should be holding the piece down. And here's why I should be holding the piece down. I'm a big fan of employing child labor whenever I can. Uh, him holding the shop back just helps keep the sawdust uh, from spreading around. Look, I've made holes. So this oscillating spindle sander does have a dust port in the back, but why use that when I can make my son hold the hose? I think it's a great opportunity for these kids to use some of these power tools at a young age. I was 40 years old the first time I used an oscillating spindle sander. Remember, it's important to use your ma face mask so you don't breathe in bad stuff.
Now, this belt sander belonged to my father and is at least 25 years old. The belt is almost as old. I'm just glad it didn't happen when my son was using it. So maybe I'll just peel that strip that broke away and keep using it. Nope. And I just realized that the oscillating spindle sander has been on this entire time. So I'll just use the random orbit sander to finish things up. I forgot about I needed a bottom piece and I'm glad I've got this one piece of scrap left over. Fortunately for me. Yeah, Scott, because it would have been impossible to find a piece of 1x4. going to be and then we've got about five minutes to get this all set up so we're gonna be quick about it so I'm gonna do this and I'll, you guys are I'll, gonna spread it I'll keep on doing the finger spreading thing. okay Alright, I've got it glued up. I'm just going to adjust a little bit to make it look pretty. I'm going to sandwich it between two scrap pieces of wood, clamp it, and leave it. Alright, I've got this all clamped up. I'm going to let the glue dry and then we're going to paint it. What do you think? I think it's good. How about you? And if they do think it's good, what should they do? Try like, comment, and if they're new, subscribe. Absolutely. Okay, it's dried. Go ahead and uh, take it out of the clamp so by heavy. squeezing that trigger. Okay, it's not moving. So, we had to wait overnight for this to dry. And now we're going to decide what we're going to do with it. We should probably paint it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to. I'll go get my uh, paint as well. Alright, so I got a chisel here, Dylan. What you're going to do is you're going to take this chisel and you're going to scrape away some of the dry glue, okay? Okay. Go ahead and give it a try. Try not to dig into the wood. <laughs> Notice how I'm more concerned about the wood than my son saved. Yeah. Have you cut yourself yet? No. Good. Let me get some of the spots. I needed a thinner sanding block to get in all the nooks and crannies and I didn't have one so I just took a scrap piece of wood, wrapped some sandpaper around it, stapled it with a staple gun, and it worked great. We gotta sand, we gotta sand all these edges. Get all the glue off. Alright Ty, you can take this sanding block and sand all these edges like this. Okay? Then you can do that. Alright, here you go. Child labor. Give that a whirl. Yep, set it down right here. Okay. You can do it for a little bit and then chill it out for a little bit. While Dylan's helping sanding, um, we picked up this acrylic paint uh, and we're just going to use it to decorate the outside of that. And then once we're done, uh, done doing that, we're just going to spray over that with uh, spray lacquer. Spray lacquer. 
in the neighborhood to build a man. Please like and subscribe and share and click the bell. Or tap the bell. When you're doing sanding little projects like this, uh, it's a good idea to get this tack cloth. Um, this is just a sticky, it's like a cheese cloth that's got this uh, sticky material on it. And what that does is you, when you wipe it down, it gets rid of all the dust uh, so it doesn't stick on this when you apply the spray lacquer or the paint. Bless you. Alright, and now we're ready. We are ready. Add some paint. What you're going to do is you're going to dip that in there and you're going to write wherever you want to. Happy Mother's Day. I don't want to mess up. What happens if I mess up? Doesn't matter. Mom's going to love it even if you mess up. Right. Nice. Can we go to the other side? How about we love you? There you go. Nice save, kid. See, it doesn't matter. We love you. Awesome. I can't do it. Okay. I can't. Okay, the last step for me is I'm going to put several coats of spray lacquer on. Uh, and that's just to protect the uh, the paint and also give it a smooth finish. Now, I don't have the kids in here because I didn't want them breathing in the fumes with the spray lacquer, even though this is a pretty well ventilated area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Now, this wasn't exactly an instructional video on how to make a pencil holder. It was really more designed to be an inspirational video. Um, I wanted to show you that uh, no matter what your skill level is or what kind of tools you have, you can figure out some way to get your kids involved in making, woodworking, whatever it is you're into. So, thanks for watching, and remember, if I can do it, you can do it. You want to make a mess with power tools and play with... <laughs> and play with...